Good morning, you guys. It's really not that great of a morning, actually. I'm so tired of the blue carpet that I have down here. It's just been looking really gross, so I brought this gray one down from Miguel and I's room. And this was originally the carpet that was in here, but as you can see, I feel like the space is too big for such a little rug. I don't know. I don't think I like how it looks. It is currently only 10.49 and, well, 10.50, and I am currently already done with this day. Like, Bellamy has just been driving me crazy, and it's, I'm not, like, saying this as in, like, he's a baby, he doesn't mean to be, he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm not, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, sometimes you just get frustrated, and right now I'm just frustrated because... He's been going through this whining phase for like a week, two, it probably has been two weeks and I am just done at this point. Like I'm kind of at the point where I just want to break down and cry because he won't nap and it's just constantly him whining and it's driving me insane. And he just keeps whining. I know his teeth hurt, but on top of that, he's like going for this phase that if you don't let him play with something that he's not allowed to play with, he throws a fit now. Like he actually throws a tantrum he'll just keep crying and crying until I pick him up and nurse him and he's just constantly been wanting to be nursed and I'm just I just really want to break down and cry right now I just can't at the moment like it's just today's just been a very difficult day and I mean this is just life as a stay-at-home mom because you don't have anybody at home to help you and give you a breather and it's like you don't get a break you really don't because from the second Miguel gets home I mean like he helps in ways but all Bellamy wants is me and it's it's just so hard and when I was working at that daycare when I was working at that daycare for like a week and a half I'm pretty sure he wasn't like this I know that they were having a hard time trying to get him to nap but overall he was happy and he wasn't whining for them and it's just it's just so hard because I like why is he like this at home then I don't know and this is what I mean by the carpet looks too small for that area I don't know if I'm going to keep it there probably not and it's just like so small if it's the littlest littlest bit angled off you can still see it like I don't know <laughs> It being angled badly. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I really don't know. It's just, it looks off. I don't know. I really do think it looks off. But what are you doing over there, Bubby? Oh, okay. Sounds fun. I might just put the other carpet back just until Miguel and I have the money to get another one. The reason it's so important for me to have a rug there, first off, do you see like that color difference in the rug? Like it's like lighter here and then darker there. But um, anyways, the reason I want a rug here so badly is because I feel like it just looks wrong without one. Yeah? No? Yes? Maybe so? I just put this carpet back and I'll show you the reason why I'm not liking this carpet anymore. It's specifically for right here. like. It's all grossly matted together right here. I don't know if you can see that, but just believe me, it's gross. Like, compared to the rest. And then here. You see that part? And then you see over there, which is nice. And then you see over here, which is just gross. Like, I don't know specifically what happened to this part of the carpet, but it just looks so gross to me, and I'm over it. I'm vacuuming, and I noticed this. Can someone tell me what is that? Oh my god, it's so freaky looking. Alright, so I just full on decided, as you can see back here, to just not deal with that carpet. Because I vacuumed over it like five or six times, and there's still like crumbs and old food like embedded into the bottom of it. I just can't. I just can't. So How can something get this dusty in a day? Can you please tell me? And please tell me any resolutions you may have to this dusty problem. Look at this big boy. He's actually been a lot better the last half an hour, so I'm hoping he already had his fit for the day. Also, how does this get this dirty? Please, someone inform me. The only thing that goes up here is my cat, and sometimes he like stands up on it. But I know 
his fingers are not that dirty. I'm just like so over this uh, townhouse, honestly. In this townhouse, I've never lived in a place where things got so dirty so fast. Sorry for that zoom in. But I, like I was just saying, I've never lived in a place that got this gross this fast. Like, every little fingerprint remains on every surface. And I'm just like, how? And like, part of the reason is because Miguel is a welder and a fabricator and he comes home filthy. But like, he's not filthy all the time, so I don't understand. How does that happen? Someone tell me. As you can see, this wall, like, how? And then this door specifically, like who is putting their hands right there? How is it getting this dirty? Right here too. This spot right here and specifically is for Miguel's shoes and it drives me crazy. It really does. Anyways, as you can see, today is just one of those days where I just, where you just can't like handle every anything and everything is getting to you and you're just bothered, okay? Because like everything is just getting to me at this point. Like I can't stand how dirty this place is and how fast it gets dirty and how I repeatedly clean the place but nothing helps. I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of those days. So I just cleaned everything I just complained about and as you can hear Bellamy is whining again I think I'm gonna give him some lunch and then try a nap again so all right so right now I'm nursing Bellamy that's why I just have like the view of right here um, I just cleaned the kitchen washed the dishes I didn't sweep the floor I think gonna have Miguel sweep the floor because he had to do the litter box one day but he ended up forgetting so I'm gonna ask him to do it tonight and um, I'm gonna have him sweep afterwards because I mean there's no point in sweeping the floor if you know you're gonna do something that's gonna make the floor dirty again so and um, I think um, that's all the cleaning I'm going to do for right now I mean like I sprayed down all the counters and I fed Bellamy and yeah there's a lot I washed all the dishes mm-hmm and like on top of everything I just cleaned already too and I vacuumed so yeah I definitely think we have Miguel sweep when he gets home because I feel like I've already done enough. Just put Bellamy back down for a nap. I mean he did nap earlier but it was only 16 minutes and I know it was only 16 minutes because I was watching a YouTube video the entire time he was quiet so honestly I don't even know if he was napping or just quiet. But anyways, as far as the day goes, I think it is just one of those cleaning, stay at home days. I don't know, I might um, end up going to a thrift store because I actually do have a trunk full of stuff I need to donate. My sister is here. What? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to bring the camera with me and even film after Bellamy woke up from his nap. But he had a pretty long nap. I got this scary thing. Hello. She's leaving us in an hour though. And then, this scary thing is still here. We got the human being in. Haley has 32 ounces of cold brew coffee. Heck yeah, man. Now let me, is that your sippy cup over there? See, this is, this is literally my day. I was telling Haley earlier. For sip of coffee. No. <laughs> What would do? He'd take the straw out, honestly. He would just take the straw out. Hello, Aria. <laughs> You're right. Aria. Or try, anyways. Adrian just left. So, we're watching Coco. Which, by the way, I just realized that in the scene where Miguel is about to go to whatever that plat I guess the plaza is and he's passing all those vendors you see Woody and um, Buzz Lightyear and Mike Wazowski pinatas and I don't know I've never noticed an Easter egg like that before so that made me excited and it's funny because Bellamy is drinking from a Buzz Lightyear cup <laughs> welcome home your sister just left oh <laughs> your sister just left I saw I had oh okay Okay. There it is. There are the, I was about to say lightsabers. There are the Mike Wazowski's Woody's and Buzz Lightyear's right there. Doing them squats. 
Working those muscles. So, you know that bug I showed you guys earlier? Miguel and Haley think it's a grasshopper. These are grasshoppers. Shit, they are freaking, that is a grasshopper. It looked nothing like it. You guys should see the top of it. And you're like, it's a grasshopper. This is the top of a grasshopper. They, it was not a grasshopper. Now I'm looking at pictures of crickets, and it might have been a cricket, but I still feel like it's not. I don't know. Since I'm going to shower tonight, I'm gonna to go swimming too. We're at the pool that is dirty. Miguel's not doing a swim. currently done swimming because we don't want to risk any lightning hitting us. I have showered. Bellamy showered with me and now he is a quiet boy. Miguel tried to get him down but he don't want to go down. So we're just going to give him some time. But anyways, that is the end of today's vlog. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.